Hello, CTE, Center Edge, and how to pocket balls easy. So here we have the uh, 12 ball going into the pocket. And this is going to be a series on traditional CTE. So what you're, what you're uh, basically looking at is the 12 ball going to the pocket, and I'm lining up from the middle of the cue ball to the right edge of the object ball. That's the way you look. And this is a visual, so only reminder that this is a visual. So your left leg is behind the cue ball, and you're pivoting a little bit to the uh, from a half tip offset. So I'm, I'm pivoting from right to left, and it just goes right in. So it's almost like it's automatic because you're you're setting up the shot. You're in position. Here's a again. These shots are very simple. You probably wouldn't even need CTE, but uh, this is just to show you how it looks. So again, on the traditional side, you're pretty much lining up half the cue ball to the opposite edge of the cut. So if the cut is to the left. You're actually looking at half the cue ball to the left side of the uh, three. I'll be five, and then you're going to just bring your cue over from the left to the right, pivoting into center cue ball. So what I'm doing is pointing out to where the visual is. Now, the pivoting is done very simple, just a little little bit of a pivot, and you're in. Because you're already set up. It's not like before when you have to really kind of pivot a lot. Here's a six ball going into the corner. Same thing here. You're going to visualize the half the cue ball into the right edge of the six ball you're going to step back your left leg is behind the cue ball your thumb and forefinger are behind the cue ball you're pivoting it over from right to left now here's a 12 ball going to the corner it's a, not a difficult shot but it, you know it could be a little difficult to some so i'm aiming to the or actually looking at, at an aim line the aim line are like there's so that's traditional that's not traditional that's standard so it'd be like you know if ct is broken up to three areas 15 30 and 45 degrees so that would be a 45 degree cut but i think this is probably a 30 in any case but since you're using traditional you really don't have to worry about the uh the three different uh, you know visual points you're just lining up half the cue ball into the left edge of the 12 and then moving it over so it's only kind of done for you. In this case, the pivot is is there, but you're set up already. So you don't have to worry about too much, whether it be 15, 30, or 45. You're almost actually set up for it. And here's the five ball going into the side, and you're going to visualize. That's the visual that you're looking at. Again, since the camera and the tripod is behind me, it's very difficult sometimes to have you go over the shot. So it's uh, one of those things that you just can't do. Uh, so I try my best to be as close, and uh, sometimes it gets problematic. Um, here's a shot going to the corner, and uh, your visual is to the left side of the object ball, and you're going to pivot over from left to right. So you're, you're coming in at the half tip. It's a half tip from center cue ball, and then you're going to center cue ball, and then you're shooting. So you're lining up. Visually, this is a visual lineup. You're coming in, you just line up your left leg behind that cue ball and lining up, you're almost automatic, and then you just go left to right. And you're going to see that that's what happened. You see the camera got a little pushed. Um, this thing's happened, and it's a little difficult sometimes to get the uh, accuracy on it. Now, here's a, another shot, kind of pretty much uh, kind of very similar. It's always the opposite of the cut where you do the visual. So wherever the cut is, if, if you're cutting to the left, you know, you've got the visuals on the right. And it's half the cue ball. So it's half the cue ball going into the opposite edge. And then the tip pretty much you're pivoting over from wherever it could be. It could be from left to right or right to left, depending on your preference. I like to do it opposite of the cut. So you could do it that way, which is easier. Today, I mean, this shot, I'm just going to do it from right, from right to left. Here's a, um, I believe that's the six, uh, straight up. So I'm looking at a cut from the uh, half the cue ball to the left side of the object ball. And I'm lined up. So I'm coming in. 
I'll be on the left side of the half tip offset from the left side, half a tip, then I move over to center. There's the little pivot. This shot I might have duplicated, so I'll just watch it again. But basically, uh, it's it's kind of like gives you a little a little of a handle on how to do these shots. Obviously, you could use ghost ball and this stuff, but the CTE is definitely more accurate in my view, especially when it comes to critical shots. Um, and if you get stuck somewhere on the table where it's just a very difficult shot, it's very hard sometimes to line up with ghost ball. So you really got to go into something that's definitely doable. Don't forget, I'm not aiming at the pocket at all. I'm just aiming at the at the at the object ball, and that's that's the thing. You just got to remember where you're lining up and how you're lining up, uh, because there is no uh, 15, 30, and 45 in this case. You're just lining up directly. Now this uh, the cue ball is on the spot. The object ball is in the middle of the table, and uh, again I can shoot it to the left or the right. So we're going to look at it and see where it goes. I believe it's going to the left. Let's take a look at it. So I'm, I'm aiming um, my visual is to the opposite side. And I'm lined up with my left leg behind the cue ball, my, my thumb and forefinger behind the cue ball. And I'm in the half tip offset position already. Now you, you pivot over, you see? It goes right into the left. Nice shot for, uh, for for not even aiming at the pocket. Here's a seven ball going straight up. You know, typically easily shot, but it's still nice to uh, to you know see how this is done. You're just lining it up as you would with, with anything like ghost ball, but you still want to do the the standard. So you're doing opposite of the cut. I mean, you know, based on the camera angle, it could be a little of a cut here, so it's not like straight. And you're just lining it up, bringing your your cue from the back end, don't forget, you're, you're going from the back end, you're moving it to the left or to the right. Now that's a nice shot. Typically that goes right into the corner on the opposite corner.